Starting this video off with a thank you to my biggest fan. You are there every video within the first hour, usually the first 15 minutes. I can always count on you to give me that thumbs down. Always that one thumbs down right when I upload my videos. That is some serious dedication. Thank you for that. All right, just joking around guys. So today I want to talk about uh, the new supercharging. We are on update, let's check it out. 2019.20.2.1, so that's the latest. And just so you know, there will be timestamps down below. I might talk a little bit, but if you want to skip to the kind of charging information, uh, just check the description for that. But I'm gonna route us to the supercharger. Navigate to Auburn Hills Supercharger. A little slow, but it works. So Supercharger, Auburn Hills. We'll have 35% when we get there, geez. I, I only charged a 75% today. You can see I've driven 81 miles. Um, I've been trying to drive really inefficiently, but that, I mean, I was driving like 80, and I'm still like really low. If this number is less than 240, I'm getting more miles than the car's advertised with. So, whoa, look at that guy. Uh, anyway, um, so, oh, another Model 3. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I'm getting distracted all over the place. Um, the supercharger speed was updated in 2019.12. And with that, we got up to 150 kilowatt. Uh, we got up to 150 kilowatts of supercharging. So it's faster. Oh, I totally forgot this is closed. Oh my gosh. Every, <laughs> every on-ramp to the highway, I'm talking and I screwed up. Every on-ramp to the highway in Michigan is closed right now, I swear. This is so annoying. So I need to do a turnaround, whatever. Anyway, in 2019.12, we got the update for faster supercharging, but you still got um, the same on the display when it shows you your charging speed. Um, it still said 500 miles an hour um, worth of charge was the most you would get. And that wasn't true. That number was just kind of like stuck there. So it's been updated. I want to check that out. I want to see how high we can get. So again, when the car has a lower uh, percent charge, so I was trying to get the percent as low as I could uh, to kind of get the faster charging. Actually, so this little detour will help us burn some extra battery. But man, the car's just so efficient on these warm days. Um, it's just so crazy. I mean, I started with 75%. I've gone 82 miles. It's just ridiculous. So the other improvements with this update, uh, really not much. There was an improvement to dog mode in the last update. That's also in these release notes. We can put the release notes up on the screen for you if you want to see those. Um, so there's that. Um, so dog mode will now give you notification if you have it on, if you're like controlling the temperature and um, it gets you get below 20% battery. It won't just turn it off. It'll kind of warn you on your phone and say, hey, you need to get your dog. Uh, and then display brightness was adjusted. I mean, nothing too exciting. Um, but you know, Tesla always does these kind of things where they do updates like this and then they don't tell you everything that they changed. So one of the things, I'm hoping it'll pop up here, maybe it didn't, I didn't notice, um, but now there's a message that tells you when you are routing to a supercharger, your battery's conditioning uh, because that'll make it charge faster when you arrive. So we're gonna take M59. Um, I'll leave some of the autopilot stuff, anything interesting, I'll, I'll show you the any mess ups or, or exits or whatever, but you can skip if you're just interested in the charging. I'll try to make um, a graph of the charging speeds. Okay, I don't wanna speed that much in Troy. Um, <laughs> I'll try to make a graph of the charging speeds um, at the different percentages. I was, I was really hoping to arrive there with 20%, but it looks like we're gonna arrive there at 35, so that's, that's not terrible. I'm not sure we're gonna reach the full charge rate with that, but we'll see what happens. I also did have an error this morning when I was driving to work um, that I've, not this specific I've never had this happen specifically where I I think I lost all my LTE connection I don't know exactly what happened but um, autopilot turned off it said autopilot cruise control unavailable it lasted for I don't know maybe two minutes or something um, but it was just weird and it was right I got this update last night uh, and I forgot my little rule of always you know restarting by holding both scroll wheels after every update um, I try to do that to avoid those little things, but um, I did a restart and, and nothing's happened since. All right, so we're about to get on the highway to get us over to I-75 and then to the supercharger. So I have to get us on to the ramp here. 
the car won't do that. So I will do that. And now I'm not hitting the brake. The car's doing this slowing for me. Well, there we go. So now I'll just let the car do its thing. So you can, when you turn autopilot on, just two gentle taps, but I've just kind of got used to doing that. So I'll change the speed limit. The car is still going slow uh, because it's a big curve. And then it's going to go way too slow, so I'm going to just take off here. And I want to use up some energy anyway. And we're on, but in the middle of the lines. Oh yeah, you're going to change lanes? Let's, yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, to follow route. So it doesn't really need to do that to follow the route, but that's fine. I even had earlier, I turned my regen down to low. Uh, when I, I'm coming from my mom's, when I was at my mom's, I left the car in the driveway with the air conditioning on for like an hour or something to just try to use some more of the battery to get lower when we get there. Um, but it only used like 1%. So I just, I don't know, I figured it's, it's not worth running all that for nothing. So we're following for our route, but you do have an exit coming up. Actually, think if this is the one I think it is, navigate on autopilot disables itself. Um, it's too quick of a, an exchange or something. Um, so we'll see how it does that. So that's good, we are going north. It is a Tesla following us on Model S. We'll see if that comes to the supercharger with us. need to slow down. Okay, I was wrong. This is the easy one it can do. It's when you go south. There's like a huge bend um, when you get on the highway and it just tells you to take over. This might be a little confusing for it, but no, doing fine. Construction detected, so that's pretty cool. Uh, wow, oh my gosh, there's a lot of construction here. Geez, I haven't been on this road in a while because all the on-ramps are closed, as I was complaining about. It's okay. Here we go, autopilot in construction. Let's see how it does. I mean, these lines are all really nice. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I want to see that conditioning message. Let's try it again. Navigate to Auburn Hills Supercharger. I saw a post on Reddit. Uh, it was a picture of it. I can link to that in the description for you. But I want to just like steal somebody's picture and put it in my video. Okay, we'll wait for this guy to pass us. It's a texting teenager. It's good, I'm glad he's not behind me. I'm just filming a YouTube video while driving, no big deal. I'm gonna cancel that one, I'd rather pass this semi first. We got plenty of time. Now you can change lanes. We are far enough ahead of the semi. Cool. And then I would assume it won't be able to do our exit because of these cones, but I don't know how the exit is actually set up coming up here, so maybe it'll be okay. Construction detected again. Yeah, it, it, it can't do that because that's not where the exit actually is. See, you could, for a second, you could see the lines on the road there where it was supposed to be, and and the car can't tell that it was switched. You know, it does have some kind of uh, map knowledge integrated in there, and if it's not where it thinks it is, then um, it's not going to do it. It's good that it didn't try to just, you know, drive into some, drive into some barrels, though. It, it's obviously looking around to see if what it thinks it should do is, is safe. All right, so we're pulling in here. We're at 35%. Chargers are right up here. Oh, I just really hope we can hit the full speed. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of this guy's way. He obviously doesn't understand what I'm doing. It's okay. 
Okay, we're here. All right, let's hope we get this speed. All right, starting to charge. I can get more than this. Oh, set limit. Oh, don't, don't set limit. All right. Oh, cool. Okay, here we go. So, sweet. All right. I'm not getting 150 kilowatts. I have I have too much battery. I I thought 75 percent would be low enough. Anyway, we're getting over 500 miles an hour. All right. So while we got this time lapse going, just a quick voiceover. Um, I didn't realize until after I recorded this video that the charging speed at superchargers actually has been increased. Um, so the kilowatt, the max kilowatt is the same. 150 is still the max. But the step down rate, um, how much the charging slows as your battery fills, uh, has been reduced. So as your battery gains percentage, the kilowatts are staying higher for longer. Um, so you're basically getting more energy into your pack in a less amount of time. That's all that means. Um, so I've been talking with a few people on Reddit, uh, and we've been compiling some data. Now you're getting to a higher charge rate. Uh, faster and so you're actually saving time so again one of the main concerns with an electric car is that charging you know takes a really long time and just with over-the-air updates I mean this car charges faster than when I first got it it charges faster than my video when we went to North Carolina and even in that video the charging speed was like too fast <laughs> for us you know I talked about how um, the car was ready before we were so you know just you know, enjoy the, the time lapse um, if you want, or you can just kind of take away that. With this update, even though Tesla didn't say anything, the, the cars are now, at least the Model 3s, are now charging faster. I don't know how this is affecting the S and the X. Um, but it's it's pretty great. I mean, these, these over-the-air updates are awesome. I just wish Tesla would, you know, be a little more specific in their release notes. But, you know, that's all right. That was weird. I don't know what happened, but I heard a little noise, and I just noticed this is going back up. So I didn't see it go down. I don't know how long it was down. I, I'm guessing for just a second, but all right. All right, so we're almost at 90%. I'm going to, around 90%, I'm going to take off. Um, so I was able to do all this charging for free. Thank you to you guys for using referral codes. If you're going to buy a Tesla and you don't know anyone in real life that owns one, I have my referral code in the description. If you want to get a uh, thousand free miles, we'll both get that charging. So I'll put up the chart, um, or I may have already done that, of the charging at the different percentages, how fast it is at each percentage. Um, but it, it's the same as a few updates ago. It is faster than it was when I first got the car. The max charging speed was 120 kilowatts when I bought the car, and now the max speed is 150. Um, and you saw even coming in at 35%, I was still getting over 120. So I'm getting faster charging now than when I first bought the car. What the heck? That cart is running from the law. <laughs> um, but it is nice uh, to get the, the improved, you know, reading here. I think because, you know, a lot of people, you know, if you're watching this video and, and me and the kind of the Tesla nerdy people that are really into it, they know that. But um, you're getting a lot of people now that are buying these cars and they're not going crazy reading about everything just like they would with any other car. And when they see bigger, better numbers like that, um, it's encouraging, you know, it helps them kind of realize, wow, my car's charging really fast. I don't have to spend a very long time here charging to get where I need to go. Um, so I think it's really nice that, you know, Tesla upgraded this and, and we've seen in the version three superchargers, there's some other YouTube videos about it that you can hit over a thousand miles an hour, which it's just, it's nice to see those big impressive numbers. That's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, hit like, get subscribed. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.